you just followed up a 56 point performance with 40 plus tonight. If it's not the playoffs, what is it that makes you unstoppable? My teammates, they need me to be that way right now. I will continue to be that way right now. Um, whatever it takes to win, it could be 40, it could be 50, it could be zero and 12 assists. I got to be able to do it all. Now you get to have some rest before the second round. What's the first thing you're going to do with these next couple days? I'm going to play with my daughter, man. I love her to death. I miss her. I've been away for a very long time. We're going to get ice cream. We're going to the park. We're doing a lot of different stuff. So, Kurt Healy, um, you know, it's a little part of my... Damn, dog, where you joining? Where you at? You got a good... Where you at? I, I'm in the backyard. I'm... I'm... I'm by the pool today. It's it's a sunny Southern California day. I'm out by the pool. Oh, I, I know you it. had a little. Good. I know you had an oasis and a, and a whole damn. Oh, you got everything. Vacation. Got everything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm used to seeing cats running around I, I, the kitchen. Me, this is different. Let, let me just say this now. Oh, Mary hey, Wright. Ooh. The trick is to marry Wright. Okay. Yeah, you did. I listen. You I'm did. Man. All right. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's a, that's beautiful. So um, Jimmy Butler. I mean, I, listen. Conversely, all right. Whereas Giannis, this failure, and you can comment on that if you as you as you wish, this failure yeah. to me does not in any way tarnish his legacy or reputation. Conversely, Jimmy Butler continues to add to a reputation that championship or not, I think puts him, and this is what I was getting at the other day. We didn't really get that deep into it, Michael, but it's just like if I'm picking a team. And I'm saying like I got to I, I need somebody in the foxhole in the alley wherever you want wherever you want to be and I got to win a game. My guy is going to take and make big shots guard the other team's best player get steals get blocks talk shit in the process. I, I mean he will do whatever is necessary to win in a way that you just kind of like know that guy when you see it. You know and whether that guy has a bunch of rings or not. He's just a big time player that seizes big time moments and I feel like he continues to 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 to, to develop and grow a legendary legacy in a way that does not have to end in a championship and now just add an 8-1 upset out of the play in tournament to that resume. Am I making sense? Absolutely. I, I think you know the most amazing part and you kind of touched on this is look how many times have we talked about Durant or Kawhi or LeBron in his peak and we're like, well, all right, he's carrying so much offensive load on the defensive end. We got to hide him a little bit. We got to, we got to let him rest covering some guy who's just standing at the arc. Not Jimmy. Jimmy's out there. Like, who do we need guarded? We need Giannis covered. I got it. You need Middleton, whatever. Holiday, whatever you need, whoever we need to stop, I'll be on that guy. And then I'll go take charge of the offense. That, that level of commitment, but also Guys, that level of conditioning, the yeah. physical condition he's yeah. in to handle that is unbelievable. Yeah, especially when he does those uh, post-game press conferences in the tank. Be like, dude, put your shirt back on. Put your shirt <laughs> on. <laughs> hey, like, this is just like, it's so unfair what you're doing right now. And he's like, he'll flex a muscle a couple of times as he a couple of times as he <laughs> answered the question. Hey, I asked Jim Trotter this the other day, Kurt. And Mike, you can weigh in on this too, because I'm just trying to think of that perfect person and I can't find it. I'm, trying, I'm looking for a Jimmy Butler comp. Jimmy Butler is a really good NBA player. I mean, he's been an all NBA guy. He's a multiple yeah. all star yeah. who goes to a different level in the playoffs. And I, I can't think of anybody else like that, especially in basketball, who's this thing in the regular season and then just becomes like uh, one of the Avengers. Uh, in the postseason, can you think of anybody? The, the only guy, and, and it's a tarnished reputation a little bit right now. Kawhi kind of has a little of that, where he's just, if he gets the playoffs healthy, but he kind of still does it in the regular reason, season. But yeah. if he gets the playoff right, yeah, yeah he's, he kind of rises up a little bit. But it's not quite the same level. Like, he doesn't jump. When he plays in the regular season and healthy, he's really good. And, and by Butler's going to be all NBA. But Butler really does have like two or three more gears that he just finds. Right. Um, so, and why, and, and, and real quick, oh, yeah. get a quick follow up. I'm going to ask um, the most amazing stat was not 56 to me, 56 for Jimmy Butler uh, in, in game four and 42 in game five. More amazing, and this blows my mind, he was double teamed 
seven times. They were seven times throughout the series. He was dealt in the whole series. Yeah. He was double teamed seven <laughs> times. Four of them came last night. They kept putting Drew Holiday on him. Giannis checked him maybe once or twice, but not really. What the hell is that on Giannis? Is that on Coach Bud? Is that on both of them? That's just malpractice, if you ask me. For my money, it's on Bud. If if, if Bud out, completely outcoached in this series, completely outcoached by Eric Spolster, yeah. right down to the last four minutes of last night when they said, you know, what we're going to start doing, we're going to start running through the offense through Bam at the, like the top of the key and the nail. He's been hitting that shot now. And you're going to just single cover Butler. We're going to have him back cut off of a pick and you're not going to switch it. And even if you do, we're going to be okay. Like every move Spolstra made anticipated what Bud was going to do. But Bud, on the, uh, let's be honest, Bud's got to, Bud's got to double, but he's also, he got stuck in a few things in this game, in this series where he just, he, he's got that Popovich, I'm going to make you adjust to me thing. And that works great until, it doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah, the, the Bucks are going to have to adjust holistically. Yeah. They, may not, they, they may not adjust in-game very well, if at all, but they need to adjust holistically this all season. they got some soul-searching to do. Hey, thank you for watching Brother From Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.